Since mid-80s of the last century, people started to use mobile phones, cell phones. Technologies that such radio communications are based on improve constantly. Consequently, the quality and quantity of services provided are also improved. At the moment, there are already four generations of mobile technology, four steps, which are characterized by some significant technological breakthroughs. Let's briefly take a look what new was introduced with each generation. As far as the English generation starts with G, each of the generations is called by a serial number of the letter G in the end. Thus, the first generation of 1G standard was being developed since the early 70s and was implemented in the mid-80s. It was an analog connection for data transfer, the frequency modulation and frequency division of channels, FDMA, were used. Due to such method, the network capacity was low to slug the data transfer rate, only 1.9 kilobits per second. There were no additional features. Common standard of networks for the first generation was the standard advanced mobile phone service, AMPC, frequency of 800 megahertz. It became widespread in the USA. With a growing number of subscribers and the development of digital circuits, the transition of digital systems was inevitable. So the second generation networks, 2G, appeared. At the moment, despite the gradual transition to more modern standards, the second generation remains the most common. The uh, 2G standard is a well-known GSM. The range is 1800 MHz most often. It uses time division multiple access. Multiple users separated by the time intervals of transmission can operate in the same frequency band. The size and weight of phones themselves diminished at once. Number of subscribers increased. The transfer rate increased immediately to 14.4 kilobits per second. Many new features appeared, such as call forwarding and call hold, caller ID, rater, voicemail, and of course, short messages sending, SMS. The only disadvantage with respect to analog systems can be possibly only the great number of the base stations to cover the territory. Later, by the end of the 1990s, within the second generation, there was a noticeable superstructure, an improvement, GPRS, and it gave the opportunity to transfer data between devices and external networks, that is, access to the Internet from a mobile phone became available. The second generation transformed to the generation 2.5G, and with the invention of the improved data transfer technology Edge to 2.75G. Consequently, the rate of information transfer was increasing significantly by times. But it was time to make a new step, and so it happened. Temporal channeling was replaced by a code one. A new digital generation 3G was born. The most common standards of which are UMTS, CDMA 2000. The work is arranged at frequencies close to 2 GHz. The transfer rate has already increased up to 2 megabits per second. Now there is possibility of speed transfer of large amounts of information. That is, the, uh, these are new opportunities to work with the Internet and television. Moreover, the cost of the transmission is constantly decreasing. The invention of the transfer technology HSDPA again accelerated the speed by times, and such systems were identified as 3.5G subgeneration. With the time, the rate of introduction of new standards and developments is growing. Despite the fact that the devices of the third generation have great potential, and we cannot talk about its obsolescence, the fourth generation has already appeared. High speed gigabit high-quality communication both with static and moving subscribers. It is based on batch data transmission protocols. The frequency range is about 2.5 GHz. The technology related to the 4G generation called long-term evolution, though not yet as common as the standards of the previous generation, still provides users with the possibility beyond the simple transfer of information. Therefore, it is very promising. Meanwhile, the progress does not stand still. And soon we will face the appearance of systems of the fifth generation.